so hey check it out I got the alpha cell um, it was down to like 1177 it was down to 1177 okay. so what uh, uh, three days ago I guess I put okay. the solar panel in yeah. I'd have to go check the video footage and okay. and it's at Eleven ninety-five, and the sun's starting to go down. So I mean, it has gained. There's no question about it. Yeah. So, hey, folks, how's it going? Robert here. This is a little update on my solar. Um, I installed twelve volt lights. I took out the inverter. Mo's only running a seventy-five watt anyway. Um, my battery's at eleven eighty-six. I wired it directly into my solar panel clips actually I've bought a 12 volt light bar okay there it is there it's got an off and on switch on it and I just screwed it up there and put it right in place I screwed it right up there and I used the existing wire here that was uh, was for the the original decescent light one of them seven watt ones and a 75 watt inverter well this runs on just the 12 volts so I'm gonna show you with the light off here of my camera so that's how bright it is it doesn't draw very much power I've only got one panel and I'll show you the panel watch when I unplug it from the battery so I've disconnected the positive or the negative and it's still lit up just off that one solar panel Mind you, it's only half as bright, but that's without, that's how much draw it is. I can run it off that 24 volt panel, and I'll show you what the panel looks like outside. This is the sun through the leaves. That's what kind of light I got on that solar panel. So it's producing power. Let's see what the, we're going to check and see what the electronics go up to. The multimeter. Okay, so it's going 1188. So this is with the light on. 0 0.01. too much draw on it at all with it off and on it doesn't hardly affect it at all that's wicked I think I'm gonna like that light and that battery you can see it's not even fully charged that battery should be 13.5 so hey I'm gonna run my generator for a little while to uh, charge the battery You've got a 6 amp so there it is charging, 1236, 1238. So we'll let it go at the charging and uh, we'll let it charge for four hours and see how it works out. Okay, so here's the amount of light that's in the camper. Um, the phone don't really do it justice, but it's pretty bright, eh? And it's got a swivel head on it so you can do different things with it. But uh, you could definitely film it easy enough at night time if you were cooking. So. Plenty of enough light in there, eh? And I mean that's pretty good for a for a 12 volt light. Off on switch. It's pretty bright. Yeah, I like it. I like it.